Hello, I'm Abby Houseworth. You're here in Blyville, Arkansas at Bistro 1121. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make our quick, easy, simple, and very delicious Low Country Shrimp and Grits. Here at Bistro 1121, we make every dish to order. So from start to finish till it hits the plate, you can make it. It's fast, it's simple, and it's delicious. So we're going to get started. I have a quick grit, and instead of using just plain water in your grits, you're going to use chicken stock. That's where the flavor comes from. That's what makes these grits savory, and that's what makes them special and unique to this recipe, to have a flavorful, delicious, real chicken stock that's seasoned with all of that goodness in there. You can also make stock ahead of time. You can always keep it in the refrigerator. If you want, a good trick is uh, to put it in your old ice trays, if you still have the ice trays with the individuals, and you can actually freeze them and use just a little at a time until you'll always have the chicken stock on hand. Come over here to this saute pan, and I have melted butter in there. It's getting ready to add our shrimp for the shrimp and grits. So I'm gonna add five shrimp. So we're gonna bring the temperature up on that and get it a good saute. The seasoning that I use on the shrimp is a Cajun seasoning. Use your favorite Cajun seasoning. Remember, this is your dish. You can make it however you'd like. Be very liberal with your Cajun seasoning. The shrimp cook really quickly and you don't want overcooked shrimp. So while this is still sauteing, I'm adding regular all-purpose flour to the shrimp. And the reason I'm doing that is what we're doing is we're creating what is called a roux. So you use equal parts of flour and butter and it creates a roux which will, in the end of this dish, be the thickening agent for our sauce. So we're gonna let that flour cook you don't want to get your roux too dark, but you can tell that the Cajun seasoning's in there and lots of paprika. You want to keep your roux what they call quote unquote blonde instead of being dark. A dark roux would be for something like gumbo. The flour should be cooked out so that you'd never taste the flour, but the flour is there, like I said, as a thickening agent. So I've got some white wine. I'm gonna pour just a little white wine on. What we've done is we've deglazed our pan just a little with that white wine. And I've got heavy cream. We add just a little heavy cream. You don't have to put all the cream or the milk or the half and half in all at once. You know, take baby steps. If your sauce starts to get a little too thick for you, then add a little bit more cream. But once you've added too much cream, there's no reversing that, there's no going back. And to me, with the grits being our starch, we've got our protein here in the shrimp, I prefer to add the spinach here at the end and it wilts very quickly. So you almost have a one-stop dish. You've got your starch, your protein, and your vegetable in there all together. So let that just wilt down. Like I said, it wilts very quickly. So now we're ready to plate our shrimp and grits. Always put the grits on the bottom. Place them in the center of the plate. So we're gonna set this shrimp with bottoms up in here get a little bit of our sauce, a little bit of spinach, drizzle it right on. You could garnish it with a lemon, and then it's that simple, it's that easy, it's that fast. This is our finished dish. It is our Low Country Shrimp and Grits, and you can get that here at Bistro 1121 in Blavel.